So, Anime Corner, I'll get through this real quick. So I'll start off with Jujutsu Kaisen. This was a surprise because I completely forgot this dropped on the 5th. This first episode, very straightforward. It was just um, showing you all the new players. So this is a prequel to the first season. And it's more so delving into Gojo Satoru as well as Gito's friendship. Um, and they show you all the other students that were with them in the same class at the Jujutsu Academy. Hmm. Um, there was no action in this. There was a moment of them working out how to exercise a demon. Um, and they show you a little bit of like, um, this co this corridor sort of like coiling up and then blowing up as they work out that you've got to run in opposite directions to break the curse. Hmm. Because if you keep walking in the same thing, it's an infinite corridor. So if you keep going the opposite ways, hmm. then you'll break it. Cast <laughs> out this demon. <laughs> 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 um, you find that Gojo and Gito actually hate each other at the start of this from them getting to know each other but you can see from like seasons one as well as the movie that came out that they were like really good friends at the end of that um, but yeah so and Gito's like a main overarching villain so he chooses the life of villainy shortly after so Jujutsu Kaisen Zero is a prequel to season one as well. And then this is a prequel to all like the movie and the, the season one as well. Damn. <laughs> so it's just an establishment of them as young sorcerers and them like sort of, I guess, getting to know each other. But there wasn't a lot for this episode. That was basically it. It was just establishing that. So hopefully like with the it. next. It was interesting. Um, I also watched a fan one. So it was the actual animation, but then the subtitles weren't all completely there. Mm. But in mm. the next, like, I think right now, to be honest, the actual proper episode should be out so I can rewatch it. So I think this yeah. is going to be a Friday show for me. Okay, nice. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's not bad. Hell's Paradise. This was the finale for Hell's Paradise. Um, so this, once again, it just has a massive fight in there. And you find that all the big players, so all the executioners have learned how to use Tau. And the one guy, the one executioner who was blind this whole time, he's managed to work it all out. So now he can basically see. Um, and he takes out like the, the, the big boss at the end in the, in the Hosen, in the village. Um, and at the same time, you begin, you begin learning about Tau and its uses. Tau is just your life force. And if you tap too much into it, you either lose your life and that's why you bleed after excessive use or you lose your memories or you lose something else. And so with Gabi Maru, like there wasn't a lot to this episode. It was actually a lot of talking for this finale. So the biggest other point from that is that after Gabi Maru had used the Tau, um, you find out that a lot of the memories that he had were actually implanted. And he's oh. also got amnesia now. So all he knows is that he's the best ninja in his clan. He doesn't know where he is, who he's with, but he's just going to play along to try and get the fuck out of here. So that will go into, I guess, with the his ninja clan showing up, and then shit will go down in the second season. Yeah, but oh. they at the end of the season, they did establish that there's executioners that are also going to be sent to the island shortly after as well. So everyone who's learnt the Tao is now going to see their clan mates, and then I'm sure it's going to be like a massive fight going on there too. Jesus. Yeah, so the second season might be a fucking banger as well. Mm. That's a mad concept, though. If you use it, you lose something. Mm. Yeah. Is it true that if you don't use it, you lose it? <laughs> 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 but yeah, I thought that was really cool because I thought it was just going to be like a you, like you just lose a bit of your life force. Yeah. But no, there's, there's more effects to it. So I thought that was mad. So that'll play heavily into season two now with Gabimaru not knowing where the fuck he is. Because now you find out, like, his wife, fake. That was all implanted. Oh, like, she wasn't real. She was just, like, memories planted in him. He was indoctrinated with that information so that he had something to lose so he could become the best. Ah, total recall. Yeah. Mm. Oh, total recalled him. Pull on Porter. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fucking crazy shit. Mashal, Mashal was just funny as fuck as usual. So after he fucked up that like puppet master wizard, 
all of them decide to have a massive celebration exactly where this fire they fuck this dude up seconds <laughs> after mash fucks this dude up Jeez. and he's like i must go to the bathroom and fucking leaves they're like damn he must have been holding it this whole time <laughs> <laughs> And so he leaves and then like that bad guy's boss shows up and it's part of the innocent zero clan. Mm. And this guy comes through and just starts fucking everyone up. And then mash comes back, obviously with a tray of cream puffs for everyone to celebrate. <laughs> and so that innocent zero guy comes through to go kill the puppet master dude. And then mash stops it. And then like this dude's throwing all this magic at him and mash is just blocking all of it and then the guy pulls out this mirror and he's like with this mirror any magic you use um it'll deflect back to you tenfold <laughs> and mash just launches the maddest kick at this guy's head through the mirror and it made me think of all those youtube videos of those guys who think they can control energy <laughs> and they just get <laughs> fucked up <laughs> fuck i love those videos <laughs> fuck i lost it and so this guy, the guy realized that, fuck, he's not using magic at all. He's legit just using his hands. But then all his, like, all of his fucking friends look as well. And they're like, he hasn't been using magic this whole time. And they all realize that he's magicless. Yeah. And so this guy ends up retreating after Mash just fucking launched the maddest kick. And everyone's like, ah, oh, it's okay. We'll keep your secret. You know, no one will know about it. And fucking, um... That was it, basically. Like, Mash, like, some other wizards were like, no, everyone must know, he must be expelled. And then Mash was just like, well, I guess that's it. And he just didn't care. <laughs> Cream pies for everyone. <laughs> hey, <yo. laughs> but that was fucking it. I still haven't watched Oshinoko, I need to get back to it. Fucking keep forgetting about that shit. But yeah, yeah. like, Hell's Paradise and Mashal and Jujutsu, it was fucking, it was a mad day. <laughs> Nice. Very good.